guys welcome back to my channel my name is Misty if you're new here um, welcome and thank you for taking time out of your day or evening to click on this video and watch it I truly appreciate it today I'm just gonna go over what I received in the mail from Beautylish I um, I purchased from Beautylish a lot I really like that company I've only had one experience where I wasn't very happy but it's over and done and um, it is what it is so if you've ever ordered from Beautylish you know you get your box and then you have this obviously much nicer than what it is right now and then they always have black tissue paper and now it's just just like feels so luxurious and they take the time to do this and it's just fabulous so I ordered my items on Tuesday because it was the time of the year where they um, do the $20 gift card with any $100 purchase and there were a couple things that um, I really wanted and wanted is the keyword here so first I'll have all the prices down below because I don't remember them off the top of my head the Chicky Hoodoo Chicky Hodo the Chicky Hodo and Beautylish collection. I didn't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. But I bought it. Um, and, um, and it's a collaboration between Beautylish and Chicky Hodo. So this comes in a case just like this. It apparently comes out with daily care how to care for my new brushes they add that to every single brush that they sell and I find um, that I'm very appreciative and then you get this little uh, certificate of authenticity I believe from Chiki Hodo and then you get a makeup brush guide so um, again I do believe that this was $160 very very expensive but if you look up um, reviews they get stellar um, stellar five-star reviews so here is the eyeshadow brush so what you would do is you pull the top off you go ahead and you just push up and then there is your brush and then you just take it off again. So let me show you. So I go, not that anybody couldn't figure that out. Um, and I'll push that all the way up. And then, and then the cover goes back on. And then you got a cheek one. I haven't used these yet because right now, oh, and they're so soft. I'm in the mindset that I don't want to use them. I will eventually because I'm working on getting better just look at the craftsmanship in this handle it's stunning and you would just lower that and then the last one is a um, powder brush same concept and it is so soft so luxurious um, I do have to say that these are the biggest splurge for me um, that I've done. So that's the Chiki Hodo and Beautylish collection. And the outer pack, the box is stunning as well. I got Inglot Duraline. I've heard really good reviews on this. And it's going to be basically what they say, a drop of this in any shadow or color. And it's going to be waterproof and last a long time. So I've been wanting to try things from Inglot. I figured I'd start small <laughs> and work my way up. I do want to get some of their shadows. And then they have like AMC liners that are interesting to me. Then... Um, Natasha Dun uh, blah, blah. Natasha Denona had come out with um, I need a nude 
lip collection. I wanted to get the Natasha one, the Michelle one, and this, but this is the only one that was still in stock, and mine is um, Beatrice. And this is what that looks like, and it smells good enough that that really matters to me, but oh. Uh, absolutely stunning um, and it's very hydrating on the lips I've, I've been using this the last couple of days and then it's got this nice outer heavy packaging that is a magnet hourglass ghost uh, the ambient ambient lighting palette I do have one item that I've purchased from Hourglass, and that is a blush and mood exposure, and I've been very happy with it. So I figured this would be a good way to kind of get my toes wet um, with Hourglass without spending a large amount of money all at once. So this is going to come with their finishing powders. This is going to, it has one, two finishing powders, a strobe powder, a bronzer, strobe blush, and iridescent rose, and then a blush and sublime flush. I have this on my face today, and I I really like it. Uh, so if you've never tried these, they're quite pretty. Let's see if I can't get some of these to swatch. They're going to um, blend in with my skin tone. But here's the first three. So it's just giving you a glow from within type of look. Um, quite impressed. And that's just, I mean, it just gives you a nice sheen. Here's the bronzer. And it looks a lot lighter in the unit. And this. And then, again, very stunning. Let me chew this out for you. If you get it, just be mindful that the blush doesn't look like it's going to have as much pigment as it does. And start with a light hand first. And then the final item I purchased through um, Beautylish is this Viseart, and this is the Dark Edit Mini Palette. Uh, I do have... Some other Visi Arts palettes. I have the Libertine, the Liaison, and then the Trist, and then the Koi. And I, I want to, I got to see how this one works out for me because I did not like the Trist or the Trist or whatever it is. And um, I took a chance at one of the VIB cells and purchased the Liaison, and I love that one. Um, those beautiful beautiful purples <laughs> so this is what the packaging looks like let me just open it like so and then these are the colors so i haven't used this palette yet but i'll go ahead and do some swatches for you there's no shade names on the palette itself nor on the back it on the back of the packaging it does um, give shade names um, I was just checking to see they're tiny look at them but you can take them out and incorporate them into a um, Z palette if you would or rearrange this if you want that that's nice okay okay 
First up is Toffee. Next is Sienna. Sepia. And Persimmon. Persimmon. Persimmon? I don't know. Something like that. I'm going to be um, totally butchering the names. Not this one, because this one's easy. This one is Olive. Then we have Boy Julius. It's B-A-U B-E-A-U J-O-L-A-I-S Sorry, I can't pronounce it. That one's pretty. It's deeper in the palette though. Okay, and then lavenders. We have lavender. And last is foray. These ones are kind of patchy. Of course, patchy with a swatch is, um, you know, you, you, you can't judge a palette based on swatches because I've had palettes that I didn't think would be any good and um, based on the swatches and they're some of my favorites. And all of these ones are metallic. Okay, first up is Absence. That's pretty. And I don't know if you can see the duochrome in it or not. Next up is Calypso. That one is stunning as well. Burnished copper. And then bouillon. Told you I'm not so great at thinking these. So here are those from the Dark Edit by Viziart. And let's just see if you can get some of those duochromes. So on the 29th is um, when I will get my gift card. And I earned $60, <laughs> which isn't necessarily the best thing ever in the world. But I, I think it's very nice that Beautylish does that. Um, it's... Seems like a token of appreciate appreciation. It's just like a token of appreciation for their customers, and it's very, very nice. Um, I also want to make mention that I purchased this on Tuesday, and I received it Wednesday. Um, I live in the middle of the country, Nebraska, and they are um, based out of, uh, I think, San Francisco. I know they're California, and I'm pretty sure it's San Francisco, so... They really do get your products to you fast, quicker than Sephora ever does and other brands. So, well, I hope that this video may be helpful with things that you may or may not want to purchase. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. It's down here, right down there, see? And then there's a bell notification, and if you hit that, it'll let you know when I upload my next video. I am going to be doing a couple of videos today um, just to get all caught up with everything, especially with the holiday coming. Uh, I'm wanting to get some looks out and things that I've purchased. And maybe um, let me know down below what kinds of things you guys are wanting for the holiday. Anyway, don't forget to hit subscribe. 
Leave me any feedback, comments, or concerns down below. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye. Much love.